Hi, welcome to the New Wave Cooking Club. I'm Jennifer, the executive chef for New Wave Oven. The holidays are around the corner. We're gonna talk about heating our ham. 99% of the hams are already bought, cooked. So what we're gonna do is just show you how to heat it. It's 15 minutes a pound, power level high, on the one inch rack. Just a few little tips. Most times it comes with a little plastic, take that off. Now I have a ham that's not spiraled. I also have a ham on the recipe that is spiraled, so you can check that out also. And you're gonna make nice, like checkerboard slices. And then with this ham came the glaze. I put a pack in a cup and added one cup of water, mixed it up. Now, where people make the mistake is they put the glaze on right away. I'm gonna do it the last 15 minutes of the ham. We have a six pound ham, 15 minutes a pound, frozen or fresh, uh, which is, gives me about an hour and a half. And then the last 15 minutes, we're gonna come back and I'm gonna glaze it and then show you what, how it comes out. Now you can put it down, you can put it up, it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna go ahead and just set it on its side. Now the one thing you do wanna check out, we have our extender ring, which gives us a nice cooking space. Okay, we're doing power level high, so we're gonna go cook time. One, three, zero, start. I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna check it after that amount of time. You could possibly have to tent it with foil. You'll see a lot of recipes tenting with foil or parchment paper. We're just gonna lay, lay this over if you feel it's getting too brown. Just lay it over and if the tin foil is sticking out, it's fine. As long as the dome is closed, it's perfect. So I'll see you back in an hour and a half, or an hour and 15 minutes, we'll glaze the ham, and then we'll cut into it. Thanks. And we're back. Our ham, I went ahead and tented it after 60 minutes, because I don't like it too brown. Some people do. We have 15 minutes left, and we're going to glaze it. Now this is optional as far as how much you want to put on it. I really like the taste of the smoked ham, so I'm gonna be a little conservative with mine. But that's up to you. Put the dome back on. We're gonna give it 15 minutes on power level high. So cook time, one, five, start. And in 15 minutes, you're gonna have, your ham's gonna be done, it's gonna be warmed all the way through. You can do this a couple hours before your guests come, just cover it back with the foil. Um, and another tip, you know, hams go on sale after the holidays. You can keep a ham up to six to seven months in your freezer, so that's a good thing to know when they go really down and they're cheap. So we'll see you back here in 15 minutes. We're back, our ham is done, 15 minutes. It's got a nice little brown going on to it. Now I go ahead and serve it right like this. Now if you have guests coming and you need to keep it warm but you still need your new wave, go ahead and put it on the platter, get it all ready, cover it up, and put it on the table and that's one last thing that you have to worry about doing. I cut the ham right before service because ham will dry out because it's salted and cured. And I just follow the way the ham is and I just cut slices like this. Now usually the bone is down here. You can buy a boneless, but if you, I always buy the bone because I love to make the black bean soup with the bone. Um, but just cut around that. You know, dig, dig into it and use every part of it. So hopefully I gave you some good tips on preparing your holiday meals fast and easy and ahead of time. Until next time.